He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Armstrong Entertainment. This is Chad here, and I watch the movie The Father, which will be on VOD March the 26th. Now, The Father stars Anthony Hopkins as an aging man who is dealing with dementia, and Olivia Coleman is playing his daughter, who is devoted herself to his care and well-being. This film is based off of a play written by Florian Zeller, who also adapted the screenplay and directed this theatrical version. What an overachiever! Spoiler alert, this film is freaking sad. Watching Anthony Hopkins portray this elderly man who is frail and vulnerable and dealing with this horrible disease, it's just really hard to watch at times and it just reminds you of your personal family members who are elderly and it just makes you want to hug them. The film portrays the confusion in such a wonderful way that it just really puts you in the front seat of the dementia car. We're in his mind, we're seeing the world the way he does, and it's freaking scary. Anthony Hopkins is beyond incredible in this role. Honestly, this is probably my favorite performance of his this century. He is so freaking good and we all know it's Anthony Hopkins, we're expecting this out of him, but I think he really did something different. He just, he, he he had a lot to chew on and he really made it his own. And he just, there's some really incredible moments. He's able to portray confusion and humor and frustration all in a single scene. He needs to get nominated for an Oscar for this. I know Chadwick Boseman is going to win, but Anthony Hopkins should get second place if there was that award. Olivia Coleman, also another knockout performance by her. She plays the compassionate daughter and you really feel for her character and just what she's going through. You kind of put yourself in her shoes. You wonder if you would do the same thing, what you would do different. It's, it's just, overall, it's just, honestly, it's kind of hard to watch, but it's a slice of life that I think is important to see and kind of reflecting upon yourself. And I really enjoyed how she portrayed her character. And I mean, it's Olivia Coleman. Who doesn't love Olivia Coleman? I really enjoyed this film much more than I thought I would. I know it's based off of a place, so I was a little worried it would feel stagnant, that it's in one location in his apartment, really. And they were really able to do some clever things, which I won't spoil, that made it feel fresh and new and a different way of telling this story that has definitely been told before, but I really enjoyed what they did with it. I would not be surprised at all if it gets a nomination for Best Actor, Best Supporting Actress for Olivia Coleman, Best uh, Adapted Screenplay, Best Picture. I think it has a shot at getting nominated for a lot of things. I'm not really sure what it'll win for, but I hope it gets something because it's in my top five films of 2020. And I, I really would suggest grabbing a box of tissues before watching this. It, it will be on VOD, Video On Man, on March the 26th. Unless you are in a city that has movie theaters right now, you can go see it there. Uh, it's called The Father. Until next time. He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show.